From the TommyMedia.com newsroom, I'm Allison Bankston. After a popular three-week run, St. Thomas students can no longer anonymously spill their secrets to the original UST Confessions Facebook and Twitter page. The page was shut down yesterday after creator Joe LaBear's meeting with the Dean of Students. The last post stated it was overwhelming, leading to the shutdown. After the discontinuation, a new page started and gathered 50 members within the first hour. The Catholic Cardinals gathered in Rome today to start a secret election to elect the new Pope. There are 150 Cardinals, and only those under 80 years of age can participate in the voting process. The vote will happen after a traditional morning Mass. A slow-moving storm centered far out in the Atlantic Ocean dropped more than a foot of snow on parts of New England, caused flooding in Massachusetts, and turned the morning commute in the region into a slushy crawl. Snow and accidents made the morning commute in Connecticut difficult for a second day, and thousands of homes and businesses lacked power. Schools across New England remained closed. A search warrant affidavit says a St. Paul woman who police believed was killed by her husband told her mother she was thinking about leaving her spouse. The woman's mother, Marcy Steger, told police her daughter's husband was very controlling. Ramsey County prosecutors have charged Jeffrey Trevino in the death of Kira Trevino, even though her body has not been found. From the TommyMedia.com newsroom, I'm Allison Bankston.